Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan. We're taking on our biggest project to date as we install our permanent electrical to our future house site. It's gonna be a big project, but we think we're ready. This project is going to involve a lot of digging. This is the worst job. And we're definitely paying for some of our past choices. It's not very fun. To add to the struggle, we're dealing with extremely heavy wire. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. You tip over? Uh, maybe? Okay. And we narrowly avoid a catastrophe. At least we're not going to the hospital. Yeah, we're not going to the hospital. <laughs> we still managed to add a little bit of fun along the way. It's a dark chocolate birthday. Oh my God. Plus, we are blessed by the building gods in a major way. But then I've showed up to Home Depot and I found this. Follow along with us as we prepare for our cabin build. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a minute of the fun. Yeah, the gate, it's like the little lifty thing will probably be able to just be like, burr, beep, burr. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, and I just raised this back up. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with the wall, and then I'm gonna Okay, we're headed back up to our land. We have a big project ahead of us this time. It's gonna take us about two weeks, we hope, because that's the time we have while we're up here. So we're gonna be laying the wire, the electrical wire in the ground that will go from our service panel that's on our road by our pump house right now, all the way up to our house build site. And we're hopefully gonna be getting the panel all set up at our build site and will we wire that, Ryan? Hoping to. Okay, and wire that, and then we'll have to get a few inspections done as we go, and then we'll also be doing, we'll lay down our water line, and we may be able to actually call the internet company and lay down our internet line as well. So Get everything in the same trench. Yep, it's gonna be a big project, but we think we're ready. We've got the wire in the back, and we're gonna be renting a trencher in about two days. And while it's all happening, my birthday is gonna be mixed in with the trip too. So there'll be a little fun happening too. She's putting on a show. That's beautiful. We are back up at the property and we have a big project we're working on that is yep. instrumental to getting started on our house build. When we first installed our electrical, we ran a temporary line up to the RV and now we have to put in our main panel that's gonna power the house. Before we can run that panel, we you saw the wire that we brought up and we have to dig the trench for that and the we, we have a trench that's already been started and we're going to use that same trench for this conduit, but there's already a conduit line in it that powers our pump house, our well house. <laughs> so we have to hand dig down to that. We never fully covered that back up, but dirt has just kind of sloughed in over the years. So we have to use our trench and shovel and get down to where that conduit is because we need to be able to lay another piece of conduit right next to it. Okay. 
I'm see, I'm still, I'm still figuring it out, you guys. He's explained all of this to me so many times, and I feel like I pick up a little bit more each time, but it's still, um, I'm still not 100% there. Mission number two is that temporary line that we ran, we actually dug a shallow trench for that underground wire, and unfortunately, we need to trench in that same location to run our big feeder wire. We need to pull that temporary line up about 100 feet so that it's not in the way of where we're gonna run the trencher. Yeah. So. Because otherwise we'd have to dig it all by hand and that would, and that would be Three feet awful. down, you yeah. ready? No. <laughs> we got a lot of rock up here, so. And one thing that's awesome and also not awesome is the weather is amazing. Beautiful. Like it feels like summer in the Hood Canal right now. So it's awesome because we haven't had weather like this for no. so long. So we're feeling energized from it, but it's not so awesome because it's gonna get warm we're while we're sweaty. doing this and we're tender because we're not used to this <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be acclimating today <laughs> and one of the reasons we want to get this done is we have uh, a friend of mine uh cameron coming up on sunday and he's going to help uh he's going to help lay out this big heavy wire um, and help me get the panel wired up and so we want to make sure we have all the kind of stupid stuff done mm -hmm. before he comes up so we can really utilize the time when people are donating their time to us that's like gold to us yeah. so we've got to take advantage it so of it but all right i think that's it yeah let's let's get to work all start right. digging let's do it It's like, I think that digging is like the recipe for instant bad mood. Like, oh, I'm having a great day. Yeah, let's go dig a trench. Sounds awesome. This will be great. It'll be like a really good workout, right? Yeah. And then we're out here and I'm like, oh my God. This is the worst job We got the trench part dug out and we have the old conduit exposed and we have room enough now for the new conduit to lay beside it. So now we're gonna start getting to this, through this rock. Actually, this made pretty quick work. Uh, or we made pretty, what, I don't know. How do you even say that? That's we an old timey saying. We made pretty quick work. We made pretty quick work of this. <laughs> old timey saying, but anyway. That's where we're at with it, and I'm happy with our progress so far. So Ryan is behind me digging up the conduit that leads into the electrical that's going up to our trailer. And as we said before, we have to get that pulled up so we can run the trencher safely and not cut into that wire and totally kill the electrical to our trailer. found the end of the wire that's coming from the sub panel that goes up to our trailer. So we found that and remember our hope was that we would find it and it wouldn't be too far down and we could just lift it out of the dirt. That's not working because the ground is really hard right here so we're having to dig dig dig. So we have another plan. We're gonna walk back up the road and there's a cone back up there. I'll just walk right now. Um, and we're gonna try to dig around that cone because that's where the wire is located before it crosses our driveway. So we're gonna get up there, dig and see if we can find the wire in that area, and perhaps the ground is softer, and we don't technically need to dig out the wire by the sub panel, because we're not gonna be trenching where it is, but we are gonna be trenching where I'm walking right now. So we have to make sure that that wire is out of there. All right, guys, we didn't find it down there doing that. So 
we're back to doing it down here where we know the wire is and we can just do a little bit of a time and keep going and making progress. It's, um, and Ryan is having a blast. Stop digging. <laughs> Digging's the best. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. You tip over? Uh, maybe. Okay guys, um, we are going to get the wire out of the back of the pickup truck because it's my birthday tomorrow. And I told Ryan all I want for my birthday is to not have to work at all. So we're gonna take the truck to go do a hike, which means we probably don't want the giant wire in there. So anyway, we have it rigged up. Ryan has the forklifts on the tractor that you guys have seen us use in previous episodes. He's gonna pick it up just a little tiny bit and then I'm gonna pull away and then he's gonna nicely lower it on the ground and it's gonna go flawlessly. Neither of us are nervous about this. It's a little, it's a little sketchy guys. All right, wish us luck. good <laughs> I just like <laughs> all I said to Ryan before I did it you start to tip forward you hang on to the steering wheel and he did we know that wasn't the smartest thing so you don't need to tell us in the comments. You know, nobody can see you I or actually I guess tell us in the comments in, we do, love it you tell us in the comments it yeah. helps the algorithm <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I should but, put that on my stories. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it's, I think everything's okay. I think right as I was kind of tipping forward, I just I just dropped the bucket all the way. So then it just righted the tractor and if I wouldn't have done that, I I think I might have tipped over all the way. That was not perfect, guys. No. <laughs> uh, but it is out of the truck, so now we can go on a hike tomorrow. This is a birthday present. Yeah, at least we're not going to the hospital. Yeah, we're not going to the hospital. Are you ready for your birthday celebration? I am totally ready. What's on the agenda for today? We're going to go on a hike. And we're going to eat Snickers bars on the hikes. Hike. And I don't know what we're doing after that. Come back to the land, do a fire. We had biscotti with our coffee. Uh -huh. We had biscotti. We did took the dog on the big long walk. We're not digging today. Not working. That's part of the and present. Not working. And I'm working hard to not work at all today, which is hard. Harder than one would think. All right. Let's go birthday celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are on this gravel road for a little while. 
That was gnarly. What do you think of that uh, <laughs> that ride up here? Whoa, that was crazy. What do you guys think? Big tree. It's so big. <laughs> big tree conquer. Conquer is the big tree. Now you gotta go conquer the height. every desert and come back again we could go any distance to chase down every dream we could reach all the stars but in the end i know where we belong i know a place Anything in the bag. I knew it was this. Yes! <laughs> Choco or Roco. It's a dark chocolate birthday. Oh my god. Okay guys, I uh, I came to Home Depot to get the trencher. Um, and I was trying to figure out how we could get an excavator, but it just wasn't working out. Uh, I didn't have the right trailer. And so I resigned myself to just getting a, uh, 
uh, a trencher, but the problem was we were going to need to go down 36 inches, and the, the biggest trencher I could find was only uh, was 36 inches, which if you've ever ran a trencher and tried to go down to the depth of the maximum size, it never works very well. So I had kind of resigned myself to doing two trenches, one for water, one for our electrical, uh, because they do need to be 12 inches apart, and both of them need to be buried down 24 inches. But then I showed up to Home Depot, and I found this. For only more about only about $100 more a day, I was able to get this uh, awesome, almost brand new looking excavator. So I have a few items to pick up from inside of Home Depot, and then we're off to dig a trench. Okay, Ryan is off at Home Depot picking up what we thought was gonna be a trencher, but it ended up being an excavator. He ended up getting there, seeing an excavator, and being like, oh, it's really not that much more expensive, and we have a ton of work that an excavator can do. So it was a great text message to get from him saying, I'm getting an excavator instead. We have a busy day. We have our friend Cam coming um, this afternoon slash evening, and then tomorrow he'll be here all day with us. So we're trying to get a ton done today, and I think we're off to a good start because we got up super early. I'm getting this little piece of work done. Ryan's getting all of the supplies that we hopefully need for the rest of this project. Now we all know that's probably not true, but um, I'm feeling good. So we had a great day yesterday for my birthday. Otherwise it was just, it was so nice to get away. Okay. Hi. Ryan just got back with the excavator. He's got it all unloaded. So we are ready to get to work. I am pretty excited about this. I think Ryan is too, because an excavator is gonna help us get so much done, so much more quickly. And we think we'll actually rent it for the full week. So we can just do some land clearing that we haven't been able to do. So are you excited, Ryan? Pretty, pretty nervous. I don't have a ton of experience on an excavator, but I, I know that right I'll get better at it really quick. Got this. Yeah, I'll probably be driving it by the end too. So if you're gonna run, then run with me. If you got a drum. 